Like, it's like, how many people want to be Foy Coco, like, get Foy Coco? I've never seen this much. Now, I see, know people still want to get Quaxley. It feels like it's, like, Foy Coco's number one, Sprigatito might be number three, and Quaxley's number two. Yeah, you can, I can see that. I hope he turns into a big fire-breathing dragon. Uh, that's very understandable. Honestly, if I just get the legendaries and what the starters look like, I'm fine with that. That's all we get. That's all I, that's all I want to see. Now, I think Pokemon themselves, like Game Freak, learned the lesson because for Sun and Moon, they gave us, like, everything. They gave us basically everything from the, not, from the first announcement to the game releasing. We knew pretty much everything. And I think they did that because at the time, like, they didn't, like, they weren't used to leakers being a big deal. Like, it was either we get it from Pokemon or we get it from um, from outside other sources. And I don't think Pokemon was too, or Game Freak was too happy about that. So they're like, you know what, we're just going to give them everything. We're going to give everyone all the details. By the way, if I'm talking, I can't, you, for some reason, I can't hear the shiny sparkle go off. So if you hear a shiny, and don't, don't troll me. Just, if you hear a shiny, let me know. Because I've, I've done it before. Like, I can't hear the shinies for whatever reason. Most of the time. It's like... Sun and Moon, they gave us everything, and I and they, they regretted it themselves. They weren't happy with that, but... Like, Riddler... Basically, if you don't want to do anything with Scarlet and Violet, do not... Li don't click on, like, any video that A-Drive does about Scarlet and Violet. Don't follow Riddler crew. Don't... Don't do... Don't, like, listen to... Don't go to Central Leaks page or anything. Don't do any of that stuff. Just, like... If you see something with Scarlet and Violet, just don't pay attention to it. In fact, just get rid of all your social media and, like, um, yeah, all that good stuff. Me, I don't care, like, as much. Now, does it take away from some things? Yeah. Uh, yeah, something like that. Now that's another thing. What Pokemon are gonna get for um like Gen 9, Gen Nine forms, and are they all gonna be from Generation One again? Yeah, there you go. I'm not gonna talk about them unless it's something that Pokemon. If Pokemon puts a video out, I'm gonna talk about it because that's not a leak. That's just from them. Please, 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 please. Like if Pokemon comes out and says, "Here's what the starters look like." Here's what the here's a couple of Pokemon from the Poke from the new gen from the new thing. I'm gonna talk about it because it's something to talk about, but it's not a spoiler. Because it's been it's public knowledge. I remember when the um like it like the day after or so that like when Adrat did a video on the Scarlet and Violet um the Scarlet and Violet reveal, he put a video out and somebody like got on his um, on a on the post for it on his Twitter account, and they're like, "How dare you! Um, how dare you spoil another generation?" And it's like he even said, it, "It's like, dude, it's not. It's public knowledge. It's not a spoiler." Like, oh, dude, Gala, like, hey, that's fair. That's fair. Like, honestly, if it, if it was me, for sure, starters are fine. But box legendaries because that's that that's usually a factor. And if I'm picking one, which one I want to pick for is what's the best what's the better looking legend there and i really want to know what they look like i don't care about typing or anything just let me know what they look like but me it's just i've gotten to the point where it's like this is 2022 we all know what every, what am i doing i'm going the wrong way <gasps> never mind me there i'm going the wrong way but like it's just one of those things that i know spoilers are going to happen i'm not going to talk about them if it's leaks and stuff if it's from the pokemon company i'll definitely start i'll definitely put a tag on my channel that says we're talking about, like, not spoilers, but, yeah, spoilers, I guess you want to call it that. But what they told us in the trailer or whatever. Um, open world is going to be number one. That's the first gimmick. That is definitely the first gimmick is the open world. It is a gimmick. No matter what anyone thinks, it is a gimmick. But, um, not a clue. We'll find out for sure. Oh, of course you're going to aggro me. Uh, hate doing me because of that. Um, this is an open world per se. This is open sections. Open world means like I can go from Jubilee City to Obsidian Fieldlands to the Cornet Highlands to the Alabaster Islands to the Cobalt Coastlands 
to the Crimson Mayalands with no barriers, with no loading screen, none of that stuff, which is going to be definitely impossible to do because it is on the Nintendo Switch, and the Switch isn't that powerful enough to be able to do. I expect I expect loading screens for sure. I hope they fix the draw distance because the draw distance in this game is terrible. Like open sections, yes, great. I still expect towns to have. Now I expect towns and like cities and like the connections between them to still. Why is it doing that? I still expect those to have routes. I expect the game to still. Hey, what's up, King? How you doing? Welcome back, man. Oh yeah, those were those were like like the Magnemite, the Magnemite, the Lucario looks lit, like everything looked clean. Meowth looked clean, like everything, like all the Pokemon we saw in the trailer looked so smooth. Like they look better than this game. The Magnemite, the Lucario, everything that we see in this game, like they took it up a notch for for that. Yes, I'm still on the um. Geodude, Golem, Thing, King, I haven't got it yet, and it sucks. Point three. Yeah, I think there's- no, there's only three. No, there's, no, there's three. Yeah, there's only- no, hold on. Point three. Um, maybe. Yes, yes they are. Um, but, well it's- Rallets don't aggro out, don't they run? Don't Rallets run? I know Oscar wants to aggro, but I'm pretty sure Rallets run. If they don't, yeah, they are. Um, yeah, Cornet Highlands is the best place to go, for, is the only place you can go for Rallet High, but yeah, they are definitely hard to stun. But, yeah. The best bet to do is to back off, find some place, like get some smoke bombs down, and throw them some food, and you'll be good. Dude, I got raided today by Moon being King. Hit me up with um, a good bit of follows, so I have, I'm having a good day. Minus the fact that we ain't got a shiny golem yet. It's fine. I just hope I have the shiny before the 16th, which is when I need at least one more video to go up. Because I only have Cheruby going up, I think, on the 16th. Oh my goodness, nothing. That's fine. Um, Alright, thank you Captain Frozo for coming in. Hope you have a good day and thank you for that. I hope you get any shiny that you're looking for as well when you get back to shiny hunting. We all gotta stick together. We're all shiny hunters looking for a good old time. It's the one thing about getting the outbreak. It's another thing is hopefully there's a shiny in there. And... Ugh. Now, I've seen Austin John's video on how to do a shiny outbreak, like, like, a method to be able to get a shiny outbreak on a second one. I'm like, I'm not doing that. I don't, like, I'm fine with the alphas. Actually, that's how I got my shiny Lucario, my shiny Riolu alpha. Like, it was in an outbreak. A massive, mass outbreak at that, but, yeah. I got it, and I was, I... I wish it was on stream, and I wish I had a reaction, like an act, like you saw my reaction, because yeah, that was crazy. The other two have just been like what, like the stationary spawns, but they're shiny. The only reason that Alpha Lucario is not in my um, decks, in my decks box or anything, is because I didn't catch it on stream, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to stop doing that. I got a shiny eight palm this morning when I was doing Glam Meow. Um, Land me out Dex Perfection. That was fun. Just, I knew it was shiny before it shined. I just knew it. I have one space time distortion shiny, and that's a, an Ambi Palm. That again, of course, was off stream. If you ever come in here and you see an Ambi Palm on here, it's because I got a reaction for it, and I just want to put it there just to have that, local, that on for you too, because I like to get my reactions up. And it's just, ugh, I need one. 
I should have had a Starly reaction by now, but it's just, I'm so tired of seeing Shiny Starly. I really am. Over. Like, I'm okay. Like, I'm somebody who doesn't really give, like, care too much for the gimmicks. Mega Evolutions were, man, they were okay, I guess. Um, Z moves, I hated. I did not like Z moves whatsoever. I'm, I don't know if I'm the only one to do it, but I'm probably, like, the only person who's, like, played through the entirety of Sun and Ultra Moon for one of those games. It didn't use one single Z move. I thought they were dumb. I honestly thought those were just dumb. Like, I know other people use them, but, like, I was, like, I saw those and I'm, like, this is what your gimmick was for Sun and Moon? Was these? No thanks. Obviously, the other gimmick for Sun and Moon was no gems. And... Becoming the first ever champion, that was a gimmick, obviously. Outside of open world for Scarlet and Violet, I don't know. I do know that, we all know this, of course, the symbol that you see in the Japanese logo you, is what leads to whatever the gimmick's going to be. Now, since, obviously, Dynamax Adventures aren't coming back, everyone knows that's not going to happen. Those are just in Galar. It wouldn't surprise me because we're right below um, Kalos. That Mega Evolutions do make their return. I know a lot of people want to see Mega Evolutions come back. I mean, really, I could have it either way, really. But I could totally see them doing it just because it's nearby where Mega Evolution started. Yeah, they are. They move too much. They're just like, um... Dark versions. Oh. And then there's always the Dark Evos. Hmm. I think we'd see fusions before we saw Dark Evos. Let's not get into fusions, though. <laughs> Could you imagine fusion actually being a full thing? And I'm not just talking, um... Um, Kiram and... What the heck was his name? Necrozma? I'm not just talking about, like, a legendary fusion. I mean, like, fusions between Pokemon. I could see that happening somewhere down the line. I mean, it's definitely gotta... It's definitely gotta be on the board of gimmicks. Of what to do. It would not surprise me if they have, like, a board of what they could try and do or come up with ideas, and one of them is fusions. Outside of, of course, you know, Kirim and Necrozma. Which, yeah. I would, but no. I would, but no. We're going to Golem. You do whatever. Yeah, Dark Evos would be interesting. I mean, we've had Shadow Pokemon before with, um, Colosseum, was it, and XD Gale of Darkness. Now, I never got to play Colosseum, but I did get to play XD Gale of Darkness thanks to my, the, um, ex -girlfriend I had at the, the girlfriend I had at the time. She, they happened to have it at their house, ain't that lucky, but, yeah. It was interesting. Definitely an interesting take on Pokemon. The Shadow, Shadow Mewtwo, Shadow Lugia, all that good stuff. It's like, hmm. I don't know. I know everyone wants Mega Evolutions to come back, but outside of an outside of a remake, eh, they don't like the only thing they brought back that was a gimmick was Pokey Radar, which I'm surprised they brought that back. I hated doing Pokey Radar on X and Y. I really did. Because I I like what they did with um, Poké Radar in um, ah. yeah we got to think everything that Pokemon does is like every generation has outside oh Gen One of course is just you know the first generation Gen Two was color shinies being the first thing first time for shinies um, friendship. With a gimmick in Gen 2. I mean, that was brought forward, but... And when I don't mean, like, them bringing an old gimmick back. I mean, like, it skipping a generation and then coming back into the next generation. Like, pre another generation. And not in a remake. I don't count remakes that way. But, like... You know what I want to see? I want to see Dex Nabby come back. That was interesting. Horde hunting. I want to see actual horde hunting. Not the massive mass outbreaks, but horde hunting. I love horde hunting. Just the fact that you can, like, do sweet set and see five of the same Pokemon or five Pokemon in a horde. They could expand that to a lot more, which would be so much interesting. 
Alright, so we got a massive mass outbreak here. No thank you on the pseudo voodoo. Got him already. Alright, that was 413. We're gonna definitely see what these are. That was 114. Here, dude. Graveler, Munchlax, Monferno, um, Chimchar are the ones I looked up to you. And Stantler, and Stantler. We got a Chimchar, we got a Stantler. No Geodude. So we're gonna do the path and then we'll come back and do that. Oh, that ain't right. There we go. Alpha Bidoof. I've seen that Alpha before, but I have not seen it shiny. The fact that I have, I think the Bidoof's page is done. But I've only seen one shiny Bidoof. It's crazy. When I see a ton of Shinx, a ton of Starlies, but not anything else wants to show up more than like once, maybe once. Yeah, once. Crazy, man. Just crazy. Check out the Chimjar. There it is! There it is! There it is! Shiny Geodude! Shiny Geodude! Yeah! Got it! Got it! Got it! Got it! Got it! Yes! And... Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I don't even... Alright, so I'm gonna check out the Chimchar. No, no, no. We're gonna... Mm, see, yeah, because I have to evolve it up. So we're gonna go check out Chimchar. Alright, time to get the shiny gold. Y'all ready for this? No, I am. Do it. Shiny Golem, let's go! Oh, he's sleeping! How about that? Alright. That's for you too. Come on, come on, come on, come on, stay out here. 